uh, Bitcoin, uh, you know, been outperforming the altcoins as most of them got crushed. Uh, we did not form the top until these guys over here where we saw a few reds and people are neutral. People aren't even caring. People are, we want to see the fearful zone get hit. Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and we're talking about 641 AM Pacific time. So on the East Coast, you guys are already well ahead of us. And the US market is open. NASDAQ down 78, S&P down three, and still uh, consolidating at new all-time highs for the nasdaq and i would say as long as we're above uh really that green 55 coming in at 17353 still looking fairly bullish um do we have any divergences playing out well let's take a look here um Yes, coming back from the, this level right here. That's on the four hour. Let's see on the daily. If we do confirm this as a high, probably going to get a move down to about the 21 here at 17,139. How would you confirm this as a local top? Closing below 17,400 uh, would probably do it for me. And you will see the momentum flip down here. Momentum will flip down uh, below 17.743. So NASDAQ needs a little bit of a boost here today to get back in the green. So what does that equate to for Bitcoin? Well, um, you know, I would expect that uh, that... Any kind of a downside move, uh, you know, Bitcoin's been a laggard with stocks rising over the past few days um, and Bitcoin coming down. So any kind of a downside move in NASDAQ, it probably hurts Bitcoin. Could be wrong. All right, let's take a look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And here is what we have been postulating. Finally getting that bounce, a bit of a squeeze here to those shorts. And... Um, where do the bounces like to come in? Well, a strong bounce up to the 382 and a weak bounce up to the, uh, sorry, a strong bounce up to the 0.5 of the 618. And a weak bounce is going to come in there uh, to a weak bounce to the 382, a strong bounce to the 0.5 or the 618. So I'm going to make us a little box of uh, peace and prosperity or death and despair. Yes, below the box, bad, above the box, good. And if we can reclaim that $45,000 level, very likely going to revisit the highs here, probably somewhere in the middle of this wick here. Um, and what do we say here this week? If we could get some kind of a reclaim of the range coming in at 41,329. Uh, so what does that look like? So we get a bounce, maybe hit that not 0.5 higher low back at the two, three, six and a run all the way at the seven, eight, six, perhaps, uh, the 47, seven level. That would be nice. Uh, and kind of change my, um, you know, short term posturing for some more downside action. So Definitely want to keep an eye on this kind of a move. Um, if something like that does happen, I'd be looking to long uh, at least to the top side of the range at 45,000. Is it going to make it there in one push? I, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball here, but what I can tell you is the stochastic is crossing up from the critical zone. Uh, the last few times that this has happened, we did see some, you know, fairly decent sized moves uh, to the upside. So something to be aware of there. However, volatility is now declining. So I'm looking for just a mean reversion bounce. 
Again, as volatility declines, you expect price to go in the, uh, the opposite direction of the expansion. So during this expansion phase, I would say that, um, well, taking a look at this, expansion went to the upside as we started to roll over or kind of, oh, we're still expanding here as the moving averages, the slope of the white line here. Slightly positive, did not turn negative until this moment right here. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Yeah, so expansion still to the downside. Let's see what it looks like on CMEs here. So we filled the gap, shot through it and now reclaimed it. That that is giving me a bit of a bullish bias there. If we can uh, definitely, definitely uh, might be time to, you know, take some longs on Bitcoin. According to CME, we'll have to see how the chart closes today. I personally would not mind, uh, and we do have the death cross on the four hour. That is when the green 55 crosses the 200 to the downside and yeah unless we can take out this bear wick right here this little this little hammer candle this little pink guy right here unless we can take that out uh just even on a wick basis well uh specifically more specifically on a closing basis um then yeah more downside it's just another lower high lower lows and lower highs on the four hour However, you know, we could be setting in, well, it is a lower low and uh, that is the first lower low. So we are, we're on lower high watch at the moment, lower high watch. And, uh, you know, as far as I can tell right now, um, again, those weak bounces are going to come up to that 382, which is pretty much where we're at today. The strong bounce level for CME is going to be around... Uh, yeah, 44 to 43,000 in that area. So definitely going to be watching CMEs as well. Let's jump into, uh, before we head into uh, Bitcoin, let's look at the Bitcoin dominance, taking the leg up here, showing that uh, Bitcoin, uh, you know, been outperforming the altcoins as most of them got crushed. And, you know, Bitcoin took a, a 20% dip is the downside action over. I, I don't, I don't believe so yet. I don't believe so yet. Um, as most of the previous corrections, this bear market were how many days? This one, by the way, check this out. This was 18 days down 22%. Uh, this one was uh, <clears throat> 61 days, down 19%. This one, wrong, wrong tool, Chris, wrong tool. It is still early here in that, you know, that 4 a.m. wake up here for me. I missed my cold dip. It was just too cold this morning. I just, I couldn't do it this morning. I took a hot shower. <laughs> um, 
that one down 21%. So 20%, 18%, 22% uh, over how many days? 61 days. So this was two months. This was two months. And this was 18 days. So how many days are we in on this correction so far? 15 days, 15, day, no, well, that would be 11 days if we uh, measure the, the low. So 11 days and how many percents? How many percents down? 21%. So do we have a few more days for this correction? Are we going to, to live above the box of peace and prosperity, right? Above the box, great. Below the box, not so great. Um, what else? Also, for a bottom to form, you want to see one of these candles, but you want to see it turn bright pink or red or some kind of a color, indicating that we had massive volume on that candle. And as you can see here, if we mark off this volume candle here, oops, Whoops, there we go. Those pivots are gonna happen on big blue, red, or green candles. And uh, another thing to note here is that buyer exhaustion was starting to happen, right? Um, big green, smaller green, smaller green, and then a red reversal candle. Let's see, was that the top? No, it was not. Uh, we did not form the top until these guys over here where we saw a few reds. And simply put, um, you've got a deviation above the top side of the range, pushed back in, warning sign, warning sign, um, we set a close below 40,000 bucks way up here. Um, no, yeah, right here. Sorry. Close below there. Not going to be health and fitness. Um, and then again, closing back inside the range today is the name of the game. And really, you know, a lot is going to be determined today with, uh, the closure on the CMEs. Um, Can we reclaim the range on CMEs? It looks like potentially we are at the moment. So unless we get pushed back right now, set in a nice bear trap. Well, uh, and again, we don't have the high volume candle. So what I'd like to see is a big, nasty red candle, something like this right here, right here. Um, right there big red or pink candle showing capitulation in the market let's take a look at that fear and greed index really quick people are neutral people aren't even caring people are we want to see the fearful zone get hit and well where does the fearful zone uh let's look at the max Fearful zone, down around uh, 10 or 11. Down in this area, that's typically where the bottoms are set. Um, yep, you remember the August lows, the 2020, March 2020 coronavirus lows. So maybe you want to get a little more fear in the market before that bottom is set in. Taking a look at ETH Bitcoin, ETH Bitcoin to see if we are going to get the higher, lower, not, sir, higher, lower, not. And uh, we have been saying, hey, look, as long as that higher, low comes in anywhere here or higher, this, this guy right here, or if you want to be a little more aggressive or conservative, actually, I'm going to draw a box somewhere between the 0.5 and the 618. And um, if we can put a higher, low in there, that's going to be good for Ethereum to continue its move, where would it get invalidated? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, man, no, closing back below this level, 
invalidation and then we probably make our move all the way down to this green box and come for this this high value node back here and again uh, when you do see these guys and a bit of a big green volume candle price action does get sucked back to those so-called vector candles, vector specter candles. You know, I heard about this coin yesterday called Tectum. Since we're talking about vector candles, Tector, you know, it sounds pretty... Uh, Tectum emission token. Let's take a look. Looks bullish to me. Looks bullish to me. Anywhere above 3019. And bouncing off that green 55 with declining volatility. That is exactly what you would like to see uh, for some continuation. Where, where does the parabolic blow off top end? $66. Uh, that would be the target for me. Let's see if we can line that up with anything else here. Not really, not, not, not perfect, but uh, I would expect some sell pressure in that zone. Oh boy, I need to get to the gym. The gym is calling my name. I can feel it now. So Ethereum probably has a little bit more to go to the upside. Bitcoin leading the pack at the moment. And boy, I wish I would have took that long. Uh, funny, you know, we did a stream yesterday. Going short, making some money, all is good, all is well. I said, hey, let's close the position. Should we take the long? I didn't take the long until um, until after, but I certainly did not hold the long long enough. That's the problem. So big four-hour green candle to the upside. Bit of a W formation, and yeah, it looks like Ethereum wants to revisit 2327. Where is the Ws, you say? Probably more clearly seen on the hourly time frame. And just looking at it on the 15 minute, really quick. Any kind of a closure here or higher above 2253 and um, time not to be short. Um, if you are short in that 618, good for you. Easy way to manage that risk, a closure above here or just a wick above the 100 percentile um, is uh, you know, definitely going to get you out of that trade. APT, APT putting in a massive higher low here. Wow, what a deviation there. Uh, what a deviation there. Interesting. Pop back into that little channel and and now it's uh, making a massive move to the upside. I actually do think I went along this one. So here I'm going to do it for you guys on, on stream. Uh, another one that uh, potentially could go for more Mr. Cake Batter, Mr. Cake. Cake's getting caked right now and moving to the upside. Four hour looks like some continuation on this one. Four hour looks good. Uh, daily. Daily doing, doing what Bitcoin's doing, guys. Doing what Bitcoin is doing. And I, I want to do half cake. Boom. Open long. We're in it to win it here. And I'm going to fly right with this small position. Um, the other one, we were looking at APT. What is APT? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's looking bullish on the charts. For some continuations. So I'm going to go get in there and punch through to the upside. Let's go. Open long. So the way I open my longs, right, you want to select your leverage, whether it's cross or isolated. I recommend isolated. 
your leverage here, uh, 23x here. And um, we are just coming up to that 618. Looks like a bit of a cup and handle formation. This one could have a big move up from here. So let's get it. I think a little uh, easier way to manage the risk here below this prior wick or the range wick low. That's what I'm gonna go for. So here we go, open long. We're long and strong, all right. Right at the 618, good job, Chris. Good job, Chris. I had to get something in before I went to the gym. So um, what else can we line that up with on our momentum? Yeah, we got low volatility. So expansion from here is going to look good for some more upside. And that's it for today, guys. I think I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored rest of your week. And I will be back uh, in the next one. Link looking bullish. Link looking good here for a little pop back to the upside. All right. Take care, guys. Have a blessed one.